and we are calling it iPhone. Here's the forecast for today. That's it. Now we're going to start with a revolutionary user interface. Slide it across. All right? You want to see that again? Go to sleep. We wanted something that you couldn't do by accident in your pocket, and just slide it across. Boom. And this is the home screen of iPhone right here. Well, how do I scroll through my list of artists? How do I do this? I just take my finger and I scroll. That's it. And so this is what it looks like when you get a call. This is what it sounds like. It's one of our ringtones you can pick, of course. And so let's say I want to make a call to Johnny Ive. I can just push here and I see Johnny Ive's contacts. And now we are calling Johnny here. I could turn on a speakerphone like this if I wanted to. Hello, Steve. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. <laughs> and today we're introducing the iPhone 3G. <laughs> One of the other aspects I'd like to talk about, which is intimately linked to this, of course, is we're going to have all these great apps, and how do we distribute them? We unveiled the App Store in March. It's phenomenal. It's going to be on every iPhone. It's a way for developers to reach every single user. Downloaded a website on Edge and downloaded the same website using 3G, and we've captured the videos. So let's see how we do. It's a website with a lot of images on it, complex layout. 21 seconds on 3G. All right, 59 seconds on edge. Let's talk about what's next, and that is iPhone OS 3.0. This is a major update to the iPhone operating system, starting with cut, copy, and paste. The big news here is MMS. This allows you to send and receive photos, contacts, uh, audio files and locations all in real time over the cell network. But the best thing about this camera is it also captures video. Yeah. It's as easy as can be. You simply go into the camera application and there you'll see a new switch on the bottom right hand that says still or movie. And you flick to what you want to take, press the button and now rather than capture, it's record and it's recording video. 30 frame a second VGA with audio right on your iPhone. Hey, Johnny. It's a uh, this never freezes up, so you guys haven't turned off all your Wi-Fi. Come on, let's get it off, please. So I'm here to tell you about iOS 5. Notification Center is a single place which combines together all of your notifications. You can get to it at any time from anywhere on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch just by swiping your finger down from the top to reveal the Notification Center. So we built these incredible devices, the iPhone and the iPad, and people get them home, they open up their box, and they see this. Uh -huh. right. Now, when you take your iPhone out of the box, instead of seeing this, you're going to see this. When I make a new contact on my iPhone, it's automatically brought up to the cloud where it's stored on the cloud. Right? The truth is on the cloud. And then it's automatically pushed down to my other devices so they're all in sync. It's that easy. Left one thing out. And this is really cool. It's a feature all about our voice. So let's go ahead and ask Siri about the weather. What is the weather like today? Here's the forecast for today. It is that easy. And so I'm very happy to announce iOS 6. 
I can see many of you are like me and you've been awakened in the middle of the night by a text message or a push notification or an unwanted phone call. And Do Not Disturb allows you to tell your phone not to bother you with such interruptions. On iOS 6, we're enabling FaceTime over cellular. In iOS 6, we have built an entire new mapping solution from the ground up, and it is beautiful. We also do 3D. So I can zoom in and see just what MoMA looks like. But what I really want to show you is flyover. So let's go ahead and choose the Transamerica Pyramid. And today, it's a great thrill that I announce iOS 7. From the typography on this lock screen, to the vitality of the background and the animation, to the home screen with these icons, it looks so great. They just look fantastic. And now, that liveliness actually carries through to the home screen because as you move the device in your hand, it actually tracks your motion. You have those switches that you just want to get to really quickly from wherever you are. Well, now with Control Center, swipe up from the bottom of the device, and there they are. AirDrop is absolutely the easiest way to share with the people that are right around you. And you know if you want to share with multiple people, you just tap, tap, tap. No need to wander around the room bumping your phone with others. Now Siri is also a big part of our next feature. iOS in the car. That's why the team has worked so hard on a brand new technology to make this easy and fun to do. And it's called Touch ID. You can simply touch the home button to unlock your phone. Today we're announcing iOS 8. But what I really love are our new interactive notifications. So now, if you get a message like this, just pull down and you can reply from right where you are. Hey Kim, I'm just hanging out here with about 6,000 of our closest friends having a good time while Craig takes a much deserved break backstage. Slide up, sends the message just like that. Super easy. And I can do the same thing with a video message or even with a selfie. So I'm gonna dare a selfie here. Let's hold down the camera button. <laughs> and Health Kit comes with a corresponding application, Health. And with Health, you can monitor all of your uh, metrics that you're most interested in your activity. But not just that, you can use third-party applications. And so we've created an entirely new payment process, and we call it Apple Pay. That's it! <laughs> iOS just keeps getting better and better for many hundreds of millions of users, and iOS 9 takes it to an even greater level with incredible new apps and intelligence built right into iOS. And now, in iOS 9, we're adding support for window shades, sensors of all kinds. For instance, carbon monoxide sensors, motion sensors, and we're adding support for security systems as well. 3D Touch is a tremendous breakthrough in, in interacting with our devices. And sometimes you need to take that emergency selfie and you want to get directly to the selfie camera? Well, now you can. So iOS, we're hitting a big milestone because now I'm pleased to introduce iOS 10. Let me show it to you now. I just raise my wrist and my phone wakes up just like that. So if you want to say it loud, you can say it loud. And turn it up to 11. These beautiful portrait photos but also these great live photos. And you know, live photos capture a still, but then also a bunch of video automatically captured around it, and sometimes the best shot wasn't the still. Well now, we can go into edit mode, we could trim this video if we want, but we also can capture just the frame we want and make that 
our key photo. If I receive a message saying that I owe someone money, well, you notice the QuickType keyboard automatically surfaces Apple Pay as an option and picks the amount out as what I might wanna pay. And we have a new core technology called AR Kit to bring it to all of you. And I'd like to show it to you in a demo now. Here is an iPhone that's look, using its camera, but using vi computer vision, it's actually able to identify surfaces such as this table and I can actually just add an object. This is a developer application, a test application that you'll all be getting code for that allows you to do these things. Now, this is just a virtual object on this table. We call this Face ID. It tells you how to move your head around in the camera so Face ID can recognize your face. And that's it, you do that once when you set it up. And Face ID learns your face. Well, our next big release of iOS is, you guessed it, iOS 12. We've thought deeply about this, and today we're announcing a comprehensive set of built-in features to help you limit distraction, focus, and understand how you're spending your time. So I'm thrilled today to announce the arrival of the era of Memoji. We've worked hard to build a deep set of customization options to let our customers create an incredibly diverse set of Memoji. Because today, we're introducing Group FaceTime. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Now, we have not only all of this, but we've also brought the fun effects to the FaceTime camera. I can just tap in and I have access to an emoji, filters, and all of my sticker packs. And everyone else on the call can apply them too. Wow, now this is the future. Yes, it's iOS 13. But now, let's begin our descent into darkness. Look at that, the gorgeous dark wallpaper. Our notifications look great because now, when you type, you can swipe. Now, for the first time, you can share your location to an app just once and then require it to ask you again next time it wants it. This year, we spent time rethinking some of the most iconic elements of the experience on iPhone. So check this out. I'm just gonna tap and hold on the weather widget and I can drag it out of today view and onto my home screen. So you can access apps on your iPhone while watching video or talking on a FaceTime call. Let me show you. So here on my home screen, the smart stack is showing me the TV widget. So I can just tap to start playing a show. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. Our new release is iOS 15. We love enjoying shared experiences. And so we built SharePlay. When you're on a call, all you need to do is press play in Apple Music and you can choose to listen together. And like magic, high quality music playback will start in sync for everyone on the call. And you're still connected with FaceTime while listening. Now, let's check out what it's like to watch together. When you're on a FaceTime call, jump to a streaming app and press play. And boom, you and your friends are watching the same video totally in sync. With iOS 15, we're bringing keys for your everyday places to wallet. Starting with where you live, we're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you travel, with hotel keys, you'll automatically receive your key when your room is ready, even before you arrive at the hotel. BMW and others will ship cars with UWB starting later this year. Let's get started with a feature we call Live Text. It starts with the camera. Let me show you. Let's say I just finished a meeting with the team and I wanna capture my notes from the whiteboard. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard and an indicator appears here in the lower right. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. And now I can switch over to mail and paste those in and then send this off to Tim. How cool is that? Live text works with photos across the entire system including screenshots, quick look, and even photos on the web. And it understands seven languages, including simplified and traditional Chinese. And there's more. 
including voice search in Safari, powerful support for cross-app drag and drop, and new outfit options from Emoji. So that's iOS 15 with powerful new features that enhance how you use iPhone.